For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For he, for he that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Salvation of God is a must. Jesus says in John chapter 3, ye must be born again. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. If there is one prediction if there is one event that we can claim will happen next in our time that will be of death now I can't tell you when death is going to happen month date or year but it's coming and death came by rebelling against God now whether we like it or not it's not our opinion but God told Adam, the day that thou eat the fruit thereof, thou shalt die. Adam ate the fruit. Adam died. But along with that fruit, and it's not that it was an apple or apricot or grape or whatever that fruit was, it's unknown. It is the fact is that it was rebelling against God when God said, don't eat the fruit. And Adam did eat the fruit. Rebelling against the word of God causes death. It causes sin and misery. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God because of Adam. We are born into sin. And we have to have something for that sin to retain the righteousness that God wants from us. For God says, be holy, for I am holy. And if we are sinners, for all have sinned, and we die in sin, for the wages of sin is death. And if you die with your sin, you will wake up in eternity in a place called hell. Now God in his loving care, in the lovingness of God, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that God has given to us. And God has seen the need that we have when it comes as sinners. That he has provided in his love and care the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. John chapter 1. And if God has given the Lamb of God, His Son, His only begotten Son, if the love of God is that you are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, there is nothing you can do for salvation. You can block salvation as you much want to do. But you will stand before God one day, guilty. You will stand before God without the Lamb, in the wrath of God, that abideth forever. And the wrath of God is hell. And God's love is that you do not go to hell. And that 
He provided the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world for all that have sinned, and that's the entire human race. Now that Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Apostle Peter describes that Lamb as the precious blood of the Lamb without spot. So that Lamb of God that God has provided for our sins is without sin. For sinners. And lo and behold, religion cannot do what God has provided. Because that Lamb of God has spoken and said, I am the way, that's Jesus the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And those are the words of Jesus. Now, the love of God is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and that Son is the Lamb of God. And that Lamb is the sinless perfection of God in righteousness. And we are the sinners, we are the unrighteous. And that the love of God that you want is Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. There is no such religion. There is no such other way that Jesus said, I am the way. It's brown this way like a pizza. There's water below, water above. God built a firmament over and <laughs> when you come to God and you are in your sins in rejection of the Lamb of God which take away the sins of the world you will stand before God in judgment and in want and you will be cast off into the lake of fire which burneth forever. And that needs not to be so because, listen, we're all sinners. What's a sinner? Have you ever told one lie? One lie classifies you as a sinner. And I guarantee if you look back in your childhood, Somewhere along the line, four, five, six years old, you told mom or dad a lie. Lying is a sin. It is a false witness. That's okay. So great that he kind of poured it through the parking lot. Actually, the sin of vanity is the word sin. You don't know everything. Sin of lies is what will classify you as a sinner. The music is so great that you have to point it towards the parking lot. When we have lied, and all have lied, and there is a time that when we have called our employer and became. When we have proclaimed that we are sick and not sick, calling out sick, and doing something else is a lie. Now, lying will not get you into hell. Adultery, murder, pornography is not going to get you into the gates of hell. But it will make you a sinner. And you need the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. And if you are not cleansed of your sin, Isaiah chapter 1, 
Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. If you die with your sin condition not handled by Jesus Christ, Christ's rejectors are cast off into hell for eternity. We are lumped together as sinners, but God has provided a cleansing agent for our sins, and it's not religion. It's not ignorance. It is Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, God manifested in the flesh, who suffered and died on that cross according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the way that the Lamb of God said to get to God that sent the Lamb. And that Lamb is Jesus Christ, the Holy Righteous, who is God. That is the one that you must put your faith and your belief that Jesus Christ alone is able to save your soul and wash away those sins that tarnish you as a creature of God because it is your sin that separate you from God. It is your sinning that has separated you from our Creator. And that in that separation and in the love of God, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That is the true love of God. That is the Lamb of God. That is Jesus Christ, God, manifested in the flesh. That is the sure mercies of God. That is the grace of God that God says, come now. And you don't come to God in baptism. You don't come to God as a Baptist. You don't come as religion. You don't come to God in church attendance. You don't come to God with charity and offerings. You come to God through Jesus Christ, the gift of God. Now I quoted the wages of sin is death, which is true, Romans 6.23. But the rest of the verse is the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And when we look at John chapter 3, verse 36, John the Baptist said, He that has the Son, he that knows the Son, has everlasting life. And he that does not have, he that does know, he does not believe in the Son, shall not see life. But the wrath of God, in order to be pleasing with God, in order to be rejected by God, it is what you do with Jesus Christ. If you reject Jesus Christ, if you deny Jesus Christ, He says He will deny you. No, He doesn't. paraphrase. You don't know nothing. <laughs> if you are to receive Jesus Christ, God will receive you. And in your receiving and believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, you get the Holy Spirit that comes and dwells in you forever. There is no losing God's salvation. And then by receiving the Lord Jesus Christ, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And in that Lamb's Book of Life, if I could give a summary, it's like going to a hotel and having your name on the reservation list of that hotel. 
that when you check in, they look on their books, they look in the computers, they say, yes, we see your name. Here is your room. And when your name is the Lamb's Book of Life, when you die, respectfully, your name that's in that book, let me tell you, you don't get a room in the Lamb's Book of Life. According to John 14, you get a mansion built by Jesus himself. John chapter 14. And in the pages of John 14, we read the same Jesus saying, I am the way. Throw Islam into the flames of hell with your idolatry of Catholicism. No beads, no idols, no pictures will get you to God. But only by the precious blood of the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You can't come to God with religion when Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. You are not saved without Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You are charged with sin, and there's only one way to erase that account of sin, and that is by the blood of Jesus Christ. There's no other. And every day, sinners are waking up with a sin that's charged to them when they first open their eyes. And when they first open their eyes, when they have not acknowledged God first, that's the first commandment. And friend, I break the first commandment all the time because I don't put God first all the time. And the fact is, all right, let's forget honor thy mother and father. Let's forget the lies. Let's forget the adultery. Let's forget everything of the Ten Commandments. But let's bring forth one commandment. God first. All the time. Every time. And God don't take checks. He takes the blood of Jesus Christ. When you don't put God first in your life, you're a sinner. I'm a sinner, washed in the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus will satisfy God. And if you want the scripture for that, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And it is simple satisfaction that Jesus Christ and the ultimate love of God was born in the tribe of Judah of a virgin named Mary. And the town of Bethlehem in a manger where there was no room for him. And that's a wonderful, great story. But the story that will save your soul is not the birth of Jesus Christ. It is the death of Jesus Christ. Because the death of Jesus Christ is according to the scripture. And that's the gospel, that Jesus Christ died according to the scripture. Listen, we are all going to die. But there's nothing scriptural about our death, but we're wages of sin. And yet, the birth and the life and the mindset of Jesus Christ 
and the brutality treatment and the suffering and the death and the means of death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ was all according to the scriptures. And that there is no other means and no other way but by Jesus Christ. Again, the words of Jesus is, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. for a man that rejects Jesus Christ as his sin offering. The Bible records in the book of Luke, or the Gospel of Luke, that men that have continued to reject and rebel against God, there is torment waiting for you. There is no party in hell waiting for you. There is no alcohol waiting for you. There is no bad singing waiting for you in hell. There is no music in hell. There is no fruit and vegetables in hell. And yet that man in hell said, oh, if I could just have a drop of water to cool my tongue. to go to that place of torment. When you have heard that Jesus is able to save your soul. You get out of hell by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the salvation of Jesus Christ, and nothing else. God is not satisfied with religion. God puts no stock in idolatry and imagery. What Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. the world. Or you can just remain in your sins. Now Christ can wash you of your sins forever and evermore. Or you can pay for your sins. And yes, you can pay for your own sins. You pay for them in the lake of fire that burns forever. What Christ has done Upon Calvary's hill, Check. you can do, by believing on Jesus Christ, and be clean, Isaiah 1. Or you can pay for your own sins, by the wrath of God. When John the Baptist said, he that has the Son has everlasting life, that is your faith, that is your belief in the testimony and the gospel of Jesus Christ for salvation. And when you continue to reject Jesus Christ, the same John the Baptist says, he that has not the Son shall not be life but the wrath of God, which bideth forever. And God is so much better. God is so much holier than what you can do. And the Word of God more precious than rock and music. The word of God is settled in 
heaven. And Jesus said it's settled forever. There's nothing going to last eternity. But the soul of man and the word of God. And the souls of men that have put their faith in Jesus go into New Jerusalem forever to be with a God that suffered and died for them. And the God that created them. And the God of all mercy and grace and love and care. By Jesus Christ. Or you can go off eternity with your soul burning and tormenting because you reject Jesus Christ. You're making the devil joke, man. The devil's saying that's pew music. But the righteousness of God that we are expected of God. For God said, be holy. For I am holy. That righteousness that we don't have because we have all sinned. This is the righteousness of Jesus Christ without sin. Without spot. And the lifetime benefits of Jesus Christ is far more better than what the world and Satan can offer you. Because think about it, you're dying. Where are you going to go when you die is what you choose to do with Jesus today. And once you die, you cannot undo what you chose to do or not to do. Because once you die, you can't come back. Once you're absent from the body and present with the Lord, you would not want to come back. And once you die in your sins, in hell, the rich man said, will you go tell my family about this place of torment that they may not come? Even the rich man in hell knew he couldn't come back. He would figure that one of the first questions he would ask was, can I go back and undo my wicked life? And he did it. And the sure mercy and love of God is Jesus Christ. And the sure damnation of your soul is anything but Jesus Christ. That you do will be upon what you do with Jesus Christ. Reject him, and he'll reject you. Believe on him and receive him. Christ and God will receive you. And when you reject Jesus Christ, you will not be laughing and smiling in eternity, and you will not hear your music in eternity when you reject Jesus Christ. You'll be in pain and torment for all eternity. And the pain and torture of Christ in hell by rejecting God's love gift is far worse than any pain and torment that this earth can offer you. Because in hell there are no medications. There are no drugs. You just lie in misery with the wrath of God because you chose to reject Jesus Christ. Again, come believe on Jesus Christ. Put your faith upon Jesus Christ and be saved forever.
Yeah. 